Hello, I'm Joshua, and I'm um, with uh, Joshua's Recordings, and it is now time to uh, look at this case. It's a pretty nice case, um, from my uh, Apple Mac Pro, and what we're going to do is we're going to convert it to a PC case, because it looks nice. So, unfortunately, I already looked at the fans, and it's impossible to modify, so we're just going to have to use our own fans. Um, unfortunately. So, uh, I have two here, but I think they're like the wrong size. One of them is anyway. I don't know why they're taped together like that, but... Yep, yeah, one of them will fit, the other one won't. <clears throat> don't know why this one's like glued onto that. There we go. So... <clears throat> Here we got this one. I thought I had a lot more fans. Probably need some more. Anyway, we put that in there like that. What I'm probably going to do is actually take these and try to get the circuit board out of them and put them into the Mac fans because I, I still like the way they look. No, I might actually be able to do that with the other one that didn't fit. Hmm. Let's we'll see. Because they might all be different. So, in this episode, of course, we're focusing the fans. First step is to get this label off. Then we're actually going to take them apart. I, I want to get these fans to work because they're really, really cool. Look at that, they're like a triangular blade. I hope we can get them to work. So, uh, one second. Yeah. That's a PM negative. Sweet, they're labeled. Let's go get these to work. Except I'm not totally sure I put them. Unless, get off of that. Oh shoot! See the problem with all these fans? So they're always all tied together. All these wires, which is that Apple stuck in the uh, 1960s or what? These are, these are not color coded, and that drives me nuts. Got that one out. Let's get back here. Yes, they fit perfectly. So, I find that these things are actually labeled there. See that one? This wire right here is the negative. And what does that one say? That one says O. Probably this. These two are power, and these two are PM. Yeah, that's PM. That one's PM, that one's power, and that one's negative. Great! So I'll be back and I'll see if I need these fans to run. Yay! As you can see in here, I got these to work. And uh, apparently, the reason I could go so hard was um, there was, uh, for some reason, a couple different wires that I had to connect to the fan to be able to get it to work. I, I, um, as you can see by this little thing here, actually I'm not sure if this is in the sight of the camera. Now anyway, if it, let me just check. Yeah. Well, if you look here, you can see I have uh, two wires connected to the positive. The reason why is because these are early PWM fans. PWM stands for Pulse Switch Modulation. And uh, Max, they always go for quietness. And I say that like that because I think it's stupid. Because, goodness sakes, Mac, you don't want to take all these extra steps. Pulse with Modulation is a standard now for um, uh, CPU fans, but they didn't really have technology developed back when this was made in 2005, I think. So these were all messed up. You have to connect the pole switch modulation wire, which doesn't even have to be modulated. So I'm not exactly sure what what the purpose of that was. Um, 
And you also have to connect the uh, ground wire, which is obvious, and the positive wire. Wow. Wow. But anyway, I have it all labeled here. Welcome to the 1950s. No color coding, just ground, input, actually no, that's output. Input, this is, this is the output to the motherboard. Say that's working. I'm working. Okay, now I'm just gonna take these um, off. <clears throat> take these fans off, because I'm gonna replace some of those fans. Get off that. Get off that. And we're going to wire them. Alright, what I wonder is how these stupid... Oh, I just broke them all. Oh well. Right. So what we're going to do is um, take this all off. Ah, yep. Oh well. And as you can see, these things are not very quiet. Now, this one here is running at 8 volts. Which is medium. They're probably gonna be around five volts most of the time. I'm not even sure if you have five volts of power. Them, That's a good thing. I mean, I'm gonna see if five volts of power. Them. It should be as long as it's up amps. But anyway, I first I got the first one off. I'm gonna... Where did I put the other one? The really nice fan. There is. Take this fan here. I'm gonna put it in here. Well, these things are really, really cheap. These are not like things you find in Noctua fans. Believe me, these things are cheap. Like, why is that? Because this thing was like five thousand dollars when I was in there, right? And of course, it's only five years old. It's not five years old. It'll be from 2008. Those wires are, I mean, nine years old. And it's already. Only worth 90. Wow. Technology decreases value fast, especially Max. Thanks. Over there. Oh, of course, I didn't ruin these, like I said, but I am now. So, here's the Mac Pro project still under construction. Um, note still. So, what, what we got is, um, it's fair to show you in the last production, we got the, uh, the uh, power supply all wired up. It's actually the original power supply. I thought, well, it's a great power supply, 600 watts, so you might as well use it. Um, I also got the front panel wired up. So, we got the power switch, USB. Haven't wired up the LED yet, but it's in there. There's that. USB port. Um, in there, we got a Blu-ray drive and a one terabyte hard drive in here. Um, these posts are going to be for the motherboard. It's right here. This is a Foxconn um, G33M02. That's uh, it's uh, where I have it has a Dell BIOS on it. I would put a a, a uh, probably a Foxconn BIOS on it, but I don't know how to do that, and I wouldn't want to damage that motherboard. Um, so yeah, we got the standoffs in. As you can see, I'm actually using the original standoffs, and I'm not putting a motherboard thing in. Also, as you can see down here, I haven't cut out this. I'm not sure if I will or not. Um, also, this is the SATA for the hard drive. And uh, over here are the fans. Um, with all the labels on them. So yeah, we're using those. I don't think I'm going to wire in the fans up there. They don't, they don't really need to be wired in. Um, so, just, I glued those posts in with uh, Gorilla Glue Epoxy. So it's going to take a while to dry, or cure, I mean, 
they're in there. They're just not in there, if you know what I mean. And here is um, this Mac Pro project that I've been working on for a couple days. So now we've got the motherboard installed and graphics, sound, and down there is wireless. Um, I got power button, front panel USB, and um, power LED. And there, the Blu ray burner from last episode, and there's the hard disk. It's one terabyte hard disk. Under here is the original power supply that I have mod um, modified. And here, I still do have this plastic bezel here. So that I can. Here's what it looks like with this thing on. It's pretty cool. So. And also, to just show you that, that uh, the original power supply works, got this. You can see the original little power jack. Plug that in. You can tell because it has that loud relay. Graphic card fan is cleaned. There you go. Post beep. Working great. Now, these fans I'm going to put in, I'm, I'm going to take out this cover here and then uh, drill holes in it so that I can, um, so that I uh, will um, be able to mount these fans directly on the back panel because they will not fit um, using this nice little mechanism there. So, yep. Well, it's in. <laughs> pretty cool yep yeah and um the thing is with most of these uh modifications here I usually see people putting completely like destroying the way the back panel looks on, on, on these Macs well I decided not to do that and as you can see I don't even have a motherboard tray in there. <laughs> probably should probably saw in the last episode I just glued standoffs in the place I needed them my motherboard little boots in there good look look it's in there real nice. Whatever. <laughs> it's using uh, Gorilla Glue. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the uh, proxy stuff. It's half the strength of steel, though. So that motherboard's not going anywhere. Um, let's stay on it. Made in the USA. That's good. <laughs> um, down here, these specifications actually are still real, except it's not a Power Mac G5 anymore. And it's not designed in Apple by California, and that's not the right model number. But it still uses this amount of power. <laughs> oh, and that's true too. It is assembled in the USA. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh, and we haven't drifted that far because we still are using a Foxconn motherboard. Oh. Oh, man. I just like going on rants with Max. Rant. But, yeah. Um, I'll be back when we'll, whenever I get those fans installed. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this extra space here. I mean, I don't have anything to put in it. Uh, it's a lot of extra space, though. In these cases, down there, it's about the same size. But then again, this this one only has room for one drive. And like I said, that Blu-ray burner, that's a Asus Blu-ray burner. And there's the back. It looks pretty good. Pretty darn good there. Excellent.